Welcome back to my channel guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this quick, simple and easy stuffed meatball recipe. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me. Remember that all the measurements are in the description box below. So I'm starting off with some mince which I'm just um, separating there because it just came out of the packet. And then when we move on to our seasonings, I'm just pouring in some paprika and the function of this paprika is just to give it a nice bright vibrant color and then the first flavor that I'm adding to it is some crushed garlic spice if you don't have crushed garlic spice you can add fresh minced garlic and then I'm going to add some oregano to that And then next I'm just adding inner parmens garlic and herb seasoning just to enhance that garlic and herb um, flavor and then also I'm just adding some dry thyme because I had it on hand and I'm just going to pinch or I don't know what you call this movement that I'm doing but as you can see on the screen that's what I am doing and this is basically me just combining all the flavors with the mint and making sure that the flavors distributed across and then I'm also going to add some moisture sashay sauce onto that And then I'm going to repeat the process of making sure that all the Worcester size shows is evenly distributed um, across the mint mixture. So next I'm going to use herba to combine my minced meat together. Um, if you don't have herba available, then you're more than welcome to use breadcrumbs. I'm just choosing to use this alternative because it is on it's low on carbs as you saw the ingredients um, barely have any carbs in them so I'm just going to pour that on top of the mint and then again I'm going to mix it up and evenly distribute it with the mint so that all the mints can combine with all the flavors that we have just added to it So I have caramelized some red onion, you can use brown onion, this is for the stuffing and then I've also just chopped up some cheddar cheese, you can use whichever cheese you like and you can also grate your cheese instead of using cubes, I prefer cubes and then basically the method that we're going to apply is just going to take a tablespoon um, and scoop some of the mince mixture into the palm of your hand and then you're just gonna flatten it as I'm illustrating there and then you can put as little or as much onion and cheese in the center and then to seal it off we're just going to pinch the edges inward and then you can pinch it as hard as you can and then after that roll it up again just to make sure that you've sealed it and that is basically the process that I followed when I'm preparing all the meatballs So then I've just laid them out in a skillet and I've just put this on high medium heat and I'm just going to let those cook um, without a lid um, on one side first and then once the sides start to brown from the bottom you'll start to see a color transitioning from the bottom coming to the top then we're going to start um, turning them over. And we need to try and make sure that they don't burn. I also want to advise you guys to make sure that you use a non-stick pan. Because if you're not using a non-stick pan, then your meatballs will tend to stick in your pan. And then you're going to end up making some minced meat there. So while our meatballs cook on the other side, I'm just going to prepare a quick and easy sauce just to glaze them um, on top this is just to give them a nice almost uniform um, a brown color and just to make them more appetizing so I've just added some tomato sauce and then a little dash of Worcestershire sauce um, and then I've just given that a mix
then I'm setting that aside and I'm just going to wait for my meatballs to be done cooking so this is what they look like I just put them back in a bowl and then to that I'm just adding the sauce and then I'm gonna toss the meatballs in the sauce just to make sure that all the meatballs are coated in this um, sauce it's not bitter at all you can actually enjoy it if you use the ratios that I have used and like I said the ingredients are in the description box below and this is what our finished meatballs looks like um, you can enjoy these with a salad you can have them as a snack you can serve them as as part of a platter you can serve them as part of a starter and like I said guys if you're new here hit that subscribe button and the bell and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and I will definitely see you guys next time bye